Hi there, this is Vahid from the Arif Education channel and it is the seventh session of creating GUI for Python application with just one line of code. In previous session, we have talked about different functionalities of VPI GUI generator library. Using this library, we can handle different type of data inside the class and create appropriate widget for them. In addition to standard widgets, in uh, two previous sessions, I created uh, some custom widgets, for example, a grid with crowd operation uh, capability and also some customized list and uh, dictionary widgets. So we can use them alongside with the standard widgets to handle different type of uh, data inside our classes. Today, I'm going to show you how we can uh, work with file dialogues. Most of the time, when we deal with data in our application, we need to open uh, data files or save uh, the result inside some other files or even open a folder and iterate over the file inside that folder. And we need a way to let user specify those files or even that folder for our application to work with. If you want to do it manually, you need to add a bunch of uh, widgets uh, on a dialog and create uh, and uh, write some code to handle open a file dialog setting uh, the name of a selected file inside an area something like this but using vpi GUI generator you just need to specify that i need to uh, deal with a field inside my class as a file it's very simple you just annotate it with the file widget and we have three different types here open file dialog open folder or open existing folder dialog and save file dialog different types that we already support in this library so you can just get the input from user with just one line of code and annotate the property of your class with the file widgets okay let's go to this code and see what we are talking about okay let's see how we can work with this new widget and uh, I should mention that if this is the first video of uh, VPI GUI generator that you're looking right now, I suggest to go back and watch the other videos from the beginning till now to really know what am I going to do with this new library in Python. As I said, uh, the main goal of uh, this library is to create GUI for Python application with just one line of code. And today I'm going to focus on a way that we can create a save file or open file or even a folder file, a folder select dialog with just uh, one line of code and with some annotation. So you don't need to deal with any PyQt or PySide code inside your application. Here I created a class named person just as with the previous sessions. And uh, this time we only have one private field resume with appropriate property set, uh, setter and getter part. So we need to annotate the uh, setter part in order to know which type of widget should be placed on a dialog for this uh, specific field. And again, after that, I create an instance of person class and pass it to create GUI method of VPI GUI generator. So the result is a dialog, and you can just uh, call the exec method or the show method and then to binding uh, option is available here it means that all the um, data inside the object will be shown on the dialog and any change that you apply in the dialog will be applied to the object uh, also and you can just print it so here in the dundras char method i just print out the i just return the resume field so i can print it uh, on the console let's see what we have First of all, I need to specify the widget that I'm going to use for this field. Here, I'm going to say widget equals to, this time, uh, file. It's a file object, so I need to specify, for example, open file dialog or save file dialog or even folder, existing folder dialog. If you don't specify anything and just uh, specify the path, uh, the type of object, it's going to create open file dialog for us. So let's see what we have in the output. Here, as you can see, we have two widgets here a line edit and a button so if i press the button an open file dialog will be shown and the name of the field um, set as the title of this uh, a specific uh, window and if i press uh, if i select one of them for example and, and, and here by default for the filter i use all files so you can specify the filter for this dialog and i'm going to cover it very soon so i'm going to choose untitled.ui so the name and the path of the file that you selected inside the open file dialog will be shown inside this uh, uh, line edit and if i press ok you can see the path for the, uh, that we selected before just saved inside the resume field 
in the person instance okay now let's uh, change uh, the way that we're going to work with this widget I'm going to change the type here we have uh, another property name type by default it's open so you can use open or save here if I choose save let's see what happened the icon change and this button act as a save open a save dialog file okay a save dialog file opened and again the default filter is all files so you can choose a new name new file for example or uh, select one of these uh, items if you select a pre, uh, uh, an existing files it's gonna alert you this file is uh, exist confirm save as okay and also the name of uh, the field is appeared as a title of the window so if I press ok or let's uh, change use another for example new file dot txt and if I press save the file name with the pass uh, set uh, as the text of this line edit and if I press ok you can see again uh, the new file that txt is saved inside the resume path uh, the resume field inside the person instance the other one is folder for example sometimes you need to work with the folder of the uh, data you need to specify folder and iterate over the file inside the folder and do other things so this time you need to specify type as folder or folder as a type of uh, the widget here I can change to something folder like and if I pressed it again this time we have open folder dialog so you can just select this folder and the path will be something like this here we end with a folder not a file if I press ok the exact uh, path that uh, we just uh, saw inside the line edit will be saved inside the resume field so you already have the location or the path to a folder or file inside this field and you can do other business inside your uh, codes in this version the last option that uh, we can use in this annotation is the filter option so we need to specify some filters for example for not folders I'm gonna change it to a safe for example or open just open and if you just uh, specify something rather than save open and uh, folder it's just behave as you enter open as the type of the widget so this is open and for filters you need to use filters option and you can specify it uh, as we did in a uh, cute or pie cute option for example I'm going to use uh, all files this is the text and uh, we need to specify uh, type of uh, data I'm going to use asterisk dot asterisk and after that put two semicolon the next filter for example Python file Python files and this time uh, I'm going to use uh, asterisk point pi file and after that I'm going to use text files and for this one I'm going to asterisk dot txt so this is all uh, filters that we need to use for our open file dialog let's run it here if I press open you can see we have three different type of filters here Python files we only have one um, item here main.py or text file I think we don't have any text file here yeah let's just select this main.py uh, file and if I press ok you can see uh, we just have the path to the main file inside the resume field and also you can use it for save uh, dialog let's change it to save and run the application one more time here again we have three different type of items if I just select a txt file and enter for example file as the name if I press save it automatically gonna attach that txt as the extension for this new file and if I press ok you can see uh, the new uh, file that we just uh, oops something went wrong the new file that we just select uh, is here file.txt so that's it for uh, now we can do, uh, use file widget with the type and filters option maybe in future I add the capability of selecting multiple files with the open file dialog in this version we don't have a support for this specific option till next session and another feature for VPI GUI generator goodbye